Hi crafty folks, Amy here, and today I have a schnazzy, simple birthday card idea to share with you. I'm going to use this wire flower stencil. This is from A Colorful Life Designs, and I do have a coupon, AmyFan10. If you do shop and use that coupon, you'll save 10% on your complete order. Now this is actually an older stencil in the shop, and I recently acquired it, so I'm excited to give it a go. Here's a photo of the finished card. This came together really quickly, but it's not lacking anything in my opinion, and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. So you guys probably know I like to keep it simple. Um, I don't think you always have to overdo it. I think there's plenty of instances where you can um, keep your design simple and um, made it and it's still beautiful and will be loved by the recipient. So here I'm just using some post-it tape to mask off the stencil just because I don't want to get ink where I don't want it. I am working directly on a card base. So this is a way that I not only save time, but I save paper and then minimize bulk. So I do end up adding some dimension obviously with this design, but I'm not adding dimension or bulk in terms of different layers on the card because I am working directly on the card base. Now, as you can see here, I don't even have any ink pads out. Um, I can tell you these colors are actually Catherine and Pooler. Um, probably the Zen collection, I believe that's what I used last, but this is actually just residual ink left over on my blending brushes. So it doesn't go to waste. Um, I'm able to come back to it later and get a little bit more of a subtle, soft look for my cards. And here you can see I'm just kind of toning down the white starkness of the lines just by going over again light-handed with the blending brush. And I'm doing the same thing on the inside just to add a little bit of visual interest and then tone down the white lines just to kind of continue the design onto the inside of the card. Now here I have another scrap of white cardstock. I'm actually going to use this to create the sentiment. So again, just working with um, residual ink pad, or sorry, residual ink left over on my blending brushes, and I'm just doing a very light um, blend of color on this piece of cardstock. It doesn't show the greatest; it's a little bit more. Uh, visible in person, but I just wanted to get a nice um, blend of color kind of fading out into white. And then I'm using this nice big dye from Lawn Fawn. It says happy birthday. Cuts it all out in one shebang. And then I'm using this adhesive backed foam to create a shadow layer. Not only to kind of offset it and pop it off the back of the card so that it's visible, but also to give it some nice even dimension. And I am going to use some liquid glue to adhere the paper happy birthday to the foam happy birthday and I will um, put some pressure on it with an acrylic block. But this is a fun way to get nice even dimension without having to use little fiddly bits of foam. Um, if you don't want to, it'll kind of protect it in transit just because it is going to be, there's not going to be any little saggy bits because you're, get, you're giving it full coverage um, dimension behind the die cut. Now you can see here I'm just kind of deliberately offsetting it because I want that uh, foam color to kind of pop off the side, not only to help it kind of stand off the background, but just because it's pretty and the color matches. And then here you can see I basically have a glorified sticker. I'm just simply removing this backer. Um, careful not to separate it. I wasn't the most patient in waiting for the glue to dry. Um, if you give it a little bit longer, then then it won't split on you. But either way, it was no big deal. I removed the backer and I'm able to lay that right down into the center of the card. And I love how the, the ink blending on the top of the happy birthday just fades into the white and it really um, kind of provides a cool contrast against the background. And I added some of these little, they look like water droplets um, for embellishment on the front of the card and that's going to finish it super easy. So like I said, it does have some dimension in terms of the little blingage and the die cut, but overall still very clean and simple um, and not too bulky. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I really appreciate you watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.